Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I've been busy the last couple of days so I haven't posted much, but uh, today I'm going to cover uh, the power usage, okay, power consumption, how to set it up. So this box right here, uh, this box that I have, this grow tent, there currently it's consuming 40 amps, uh, that's 4,000 800 watts right uh, in order to calculate that amps times volt uh, 120 volts that's how I get 4,800 uh, but to do this I'm gonna show you guys how I calculate it how I monitor it um, what are some of the rule of thumbs I use and what I recommend uh, if you guys have uh, available so let's go to my breaker box okay all right, guys, so you always, I always start with the breaker box. I like to go from tops down, and I use uh, the rule of 80. You're going to hear that a lot. I only want to consume 80% of my breakers. I only want to consume 80% of each circuits. I only want to consume 80% of each outlet, and I only want to consume 80% of each PSU. Uh, the reason being is I, I don't want to short anything. I don't want to burn anything. I want to have that capacity because with mining, as you know, sometimes it fluctuates, right? So go to your breaker, figure it out. I live in a pretty small condo. So as you can see, it's only 125 amp. Uh, it's not a big breaker box. Some people, they customize. Uh, and they bring in, they bring in 200. Mine is just 125, right? Next, you want to figure out which circuit is which. Right, each circuit will have a number of ampage on there, so that's 50, 20, 20, 15, and then over here you can see the little map of um, which one is which. So I know I can't use my range, my dryer, my heat pump, uh, dishwasher, but some of these small appliances, and then general lighting. Uh, I can't use the bathroom one, a GFCI, I can't use that, but bedroom arc I can use, fridge I can't, microwave I can't, and space, empty spaces are down here. Uh, so based on that, you can figure out what is uh, what is available to you. Next, I recommend using one of these, just get a sleep light, right? So I don't know if this will work, but let's go into my laundry room. So I hope I don't shut anything off. So this is a light, right? So I know this is um, this is on. And then if I, I believe that one is just straight up laundry. So 10, uh, you can find it. It's 10 right here. Let's see. So you can turn it off. <laughs> no, that's definitely not 10. Uh, it's something in here. But that's how that's how you find it. So this one didn't work, right? Um, but all of the other outlets, uh, for me, that's how I mapped it. So you would go there and you would find it. And once you turn it off, if it is that number, get a little piece of tape. Put it on there, label that it's sent, so then later you know you have to wire everything out. you got to figure out where all of your electricity is so you don't burn uh, you don't uh, burn down your breaker box, your circuits, your outlets. Don't burn anything down, guys. Be very careful. 80% rule of 80. Okay? So once you map that out, um, I'll show you what I have out here. Let's go. So for instance, let me turn on this light dark in here. So for instance, this is one of my outlet, right? Uh, I, I know that this one sits by itself. It's a, it, it links with my bedroom. I know it's a 15 amp and I know this is how much power it consumes, right? So using this light, I was able to identify that this one sits by itself. It's connected to the bedroom, but I don't use any light in the bedroom. Uh, so once you figure that out, uh, you can bring the power uh, for this particular one, as you can see, I needed more power. So I actually got this one running all the way on top. And then it runs on my ceiling. And then it goes all the way into the box right here. It dropped down. And it drops down to there. Okay? Alright, so after you map out all of your electricity, you know um, where to feed your machines. Uh, the next thing you got to do is you got you to gotta measure it right you got a monitor so I suggest buying these uh, electricity monitors I'll drop the link down below but I monitor all of mine after I map them out I don't know if I can still see the low number here right here you can actually see if you look closely you can see a number 11 right there because when I mapped it out I had to write down which uh, which outlet is which right so I know when I go back I don't uh, overuse over consume and then I recommend plugging this in so you can see uh, whether or not it fluctuates or not. So for instance, this two, they're connected to 11, they're the same one, so it's 1100, 
and 700, that's 1,900, right? But this one I know it connects to a 20 amp, which is 2,400. 2,400, and I want to use 80%. Remember rule of 80? I want to use 80% of 2,400, so that's about 2,000, right? I'll leave 400 left. And as you can see, it's it's always that. Uh, the issue with this one is it, it four of my uh, CPU, uh, 9, 3,900, are connected to, to these. And if you guys have mined with CPUs before, you know they are not stable, right? Because especially if you're mining... Uh, Let's say you're mining Raptorium, uh, where the algorithm switches all the time, right? It alternates between algorithm. It'll pick up and it'll drop down. Uh, I was hoping while I was talking this would jump up so you can see, uh, but it is stable right now. So, hmm. There you go. It's dropping a bit. But this one will go up to 800, and this one will spike to 12. That's the max. Uh, just make sure you monitor it. Uh, and then one that is really stable for me is the one I showed you guys earlier. Uh, this one right here. This one connects to my five of my 3080s and it's always at about 1335. The only time this one goes up slightly is when the temperature goes up. Uh, when, the when the ambient, my room temperatures goes up and then when it goes up, that one, uh, the fan spins faster, the CPU fan, the GPU fans, and then it goes up. But, uh, yep, so ma uh, the first thing is map it out, use rule of 80, do tops down. Uh, once you figure that out, start monitoring. And then last but not least, this is very important, okay, guys? Uh, fire prevention. Prevention is always better than suppression. For me, uh, luckily, this sits on concrete so the fire can't spread very well. And then it's also sitting in a, in a grow tent with uh, these have a fire resistance layer on there. On top of that, like I said, if you use the rule of 80, that will protect you, uh, that will avoid a lot of the fire hazards, right? And then over here, as you can see, I always have a fire extinguisher here. Um, and then I also have a uh, water sprinkler system. So my water sprinkler is all, all around my house. I like barbecue. I like eating barbecue, but I don't want to be barbecued. So fire is very important. Uh, sense of safety too when you're not at home. So let's see if this one, nope, it's not jumping up. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go calculate it out on my computer and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what the numbers look like. Let's go. All right guys, let's go through the numbers. Okay, so we'll go through the whole step again. Um, if you guys recall, uh, first I mentioned determine the breaker capacity. So figure out what your breaker capacity is, right? I know mine is 125, which means uh, I have 15,000 uh, watts, right? 125 times volt, I get my wattage. Next, determine the circuit's capacity. Uh, you got to determine where each of the circuits are, where it's mapped out to, map it out, what is being used. Remember rule of 80, okay? Only use 80% of your breaker's capacity. Only use 80% of each circuit uh, capacity. Only use 80% of each outlet, right? Only use 80% of each PSU and 80% of uh, in feeding into risers. Don't expect 100%. That's dangerous. So if you look at the numbers here, I have amps right here. Uh, volt is 120 for all of them. It's the same. So you just multiply amp, uh, multiply volt. You get what wattage I'm consuming, right? And then at the end, you can see this is why I haven't been building any more machines because unless I move into a different place, I, I can't. I'm all out. I only have 36 uh, watts left, which is not a lot, right? So start with 125. Uh, I know that my I want to leave 20% for my breaker for reserve, so I'm leaving 25 in case things fluctuate. Uh, that gets me to uh, negative 3,000 watts. Uh, my stove and dryer is about 30. Uh, the The stove actually goes up to 50, but I never use all of the stove, uh, like all five burner at once. And then on top of that, I put them together because I, due to mining, I will never use my dryer and my stove at the same time right? It's just one or the other. And that's a nuance that I have to deal with. I have to remember not to dry my clothes and use my stove. But I know that I'm allocating 30. Uh, fridge and microwave is 15 uh, together. My HVAC, uh, I actually have a heat pump and I've, I haven't had heat on for years. 
so it's only cooling and I know my cooling is around 15 a.m. so I allocated that and then now goes uh, we get to the rigs right I know that my uh, that my 3080s is about eight um, actually I apologize this one I gotta fix this this one is 10 it's one let me up this number Yeah, I changed the wrong number. This one is eight. There we go. Uh, I know this is uh, 1320. Remember when we were going through the video? Right here, actually, you can see it, 1339. It's steady around there. So that's my uh, 3080. I know my mixed rig is, um, this is the one where I have a 3080, a 3090 GPU mining, and a CPU, a 737 uh, mining. It uses about 780 watts. Uh, and the next, I have four machines that have... Uh, AMD uh, 5700 XT and uh, 535X CPU. All four machines have those. Uh, those are mining a total. It uses 960. And then uh, down here I have uh, four 93900. Those are the CPU. They mine right here. I got my Solo, the one that you're looking at right here. This is my uh, Solo 3090, as you can see right here, my 3090. Uh, it's always mining. It's actually mining right now while I'm recording this video. Uh, this is my pretty much my non-professional work workstation when I edit videos, whatever I do. So it sits at around 500. And then I got fans. These are all of the uh, intake, outtake, box fans. All of those gets about 240. And then my workstation. So this is my actual work, um, my uh, 9 to 5 job, my finance job. It takes about three. 60 and I know that now I'm over and this is why I don't expand anymore. This number is in the red for me now. It's basically, basically the sum of all of this, right? What do I have start with? Subtract all of what I've used, both in terms of uh, wattage and um, amp. And remember, if we take this divided by 120, we get back to the amp. We should get back if my math was right. 0.7, that's where the amp amperage is at. Uh, and based on that, I can't expand anymore, but I'm not going to worry about it, right? Because I don't have my, it's winter, I don't have a cooling system running. Uh, my dryer and stove are not both running at the same time. On top of that, I have this reserve, 3,000 watts reserve that just sits out there uh, because I'm not going to touch that, right? So that's how you plan it, guys. One more time, uh, start, uh, if you're new at this, uh, and you should only worry about this if you're using, I don't know, like 3,000, 2,000 watts or more right a couple of outlets and you got to start mapping it out but figure out what your uh, breaker capacity is what each circuit capacity is you don't want to go over right always use uh always use 80 percent so for instance this sits on a 15 uh this last one uh my 3080s it sits on a 15 amp so 15 amps uh circuit so if you take 15 times 120 the maximum wattage is uh, 18, right? And I know that that one's running at, it runs at about 1350. And then I got some random lights in my room, right? Oh, I took all my cells. I took all of the ribbons up top, so I can't do it. Uh, but I know that the miscellaneous is about 100. So you add the two and you divide it by 18, my total wattage. Now, why is this not adding? You can see it's right around 80%. That's my rule of thumb, guys. I will squeeze out everything I can. Uh, my next move is in a, probably next summer. If I'm still mining, I'll probably buy another condo and expand on it, like a, a converted warehouse unit or a commercial converted unit, like the one that I'm in. Uh, less worry for me, as you saw earlier, uh, there are uh, built-in fire sprinkler system. It's all concrete, so uh, fire resistant or yeah, somewhat fire resistance, not fireproof, but somewhat fire resistance. Uh, but right now, as you can see, everything I do, it's 80, 80, 80 from the breaker down to the circuit, to the outlet, to the actual PSU, um, all the way down to like risers, right? So, yep. Um, and then after that, make sure you monitor and identify patterns of irreg irregularity, uh, irregularity, <laughs> irregularities sorry uh, make sure you monitor them uh, CPU spikes right GPU can be steady but CPU especially on uh, Reptorium 
it, it spikes. It spikes due to the due to the ghost rider algorithm. So make sure you leave some room for those spikes, and then make sure you have access to shut off. Okay, I I use uh, although I use although I use uh, Windows, I have access to all of my right here. You can see like I can minimize all of this. The same access you're seeing on here is the same access that, where's my last one right here? So the same thing that you can see on here, I can see on my phone, right? HP is not too bad. I know a lot of people are like, use Hive, use, and HP works for me. Uh, so as you can see, all of this, I have access on my phone and I can shut it off at any time. Uh, any one of these rig, I can shut off at any time. So whether it's CPU, GPU, uh, all of it. So make sure you have that access, uh, especially if you're not at home all the time. And then last but not least, uh, fire prevention is better than suppression. Always have suppression, right? Uh, have extinguisher, have uh, fire sprinkler system, have uh, fire resistance grow tent, but always have uh, fire prevention is better. And how we achieve that is by, for me personally, the 80 rule, right? All the way from top, 80, 80, 80, outlet 80, PSU 80, riser 80. That's how I do it. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, this is my, from my personal experience, uh, this is my setup. I know every setup is different. We're talking about climate different, countries different. You know, you might be using 240 instead of 120. So, I hope this, uh, but even if it is different, uh, fundamentally, the the framework should be similar for your setup, right? Work from the tops down uh, and make sure that you're not you're not pushing too far because, you know, you don't want to damage your GPU. They're hella expensive. You don't want to damage your CPU. You don't want to damage your house, right? You don't want to get into a fight with your wife or your wife, you don't want to get into a fight with your husband, right? She does laundry. Uh, and the breaker or the circuit shuts off and you guys are yelling at each other. Just, just make sure, uh, map it all out, know what your limits are, uh, and plan wisely, guys. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, drop it down below. If you uh, find this video helpful and uh, enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, comment, guys. Take it easy. Have a good night. Oh, and I'll be out for a few days. I, my nieces are up from Tampa, so... I'm not going to be on a lot. I'm going to go hang out with them. All right. Have a good night, guys.